First incident, when, a woman experiences, uniform uterine contraction at regular interval, with cervical dilatation, when the pregnancy is more than 20 weeks and less than 37 weeks. Then the woman is said to be experience premature labor. In most cases it is accompanied by rupture of membrane, leading to vaginal bleeding, if a woman is able to deliver. Through, this method, most likely, she will give birth to an infant. Susceptible to high mortality and chances of having abnormalities. Many, things, have been said to cause premature labor. 1. Unknown cause. 2. Hypertension during pregnancy. 3. Disorder of placenta. 4. Placenta, insufficiency. 5. Premature rupture of membrane. 6. Too much or too little amniotic fluid. 7. Less than 18 years old. Or more than 40 years old. 8. Low pregnancy weight. 9. Multiple pregnancy with, short interval. 10. Excessive weight gain. 11. Fast abortion. 12. Infections. 13. Renal and heart disease. 14. Cigarette and alcohol. 15. Anemia and malnutrition. 16. Trauma. 17. Fast cesarean delivery. 18. Disorder of uterus. Most complication is when, the premature infant, develops respiratory problems and central nervous system problems. Second incident. When, a pregnant woman, experience, abrupt flash of watery vaginal discharge. Absence of labor and decreased size of the womb. Then, she is most likely suffering from premature rupture of membrane. Some things that can cause, rupture of membrane include. UTISTD uterine infection. Multiple pregnancy. Nutrition defects. This incident can result in, hemorrhage, preterm birth, bacterial infection of membrane, intrauterine infection and infection to neonate. Third incident. When a pregnancy lasts more than 42 weeks the woman is said to have prolonged pregnancy. False alert occurs when, there is poor miscalculation. In most cases, the clause of prolonged pregnancy is not known. The woman either undergoes, inducted labor or caserine section. Neonate bone after prolonged pregnancy, usually large-sized and have lost weight and have chances of developing, central nervous system problems. Fourth incident, is when, a woman delivers a dead fetus. She will most likely have the following symptoms. 1. Absence of fetal movement. 2. Vaginal bleeding. 3. Lower abdominal pain. Most causes include, hypertension, diabetes mellitus, thyroid disease, renal disease, fetal infection, placenta abruption. To prevent such incidents, mothers are encouraged to take prenatal care very serious and immediately visit the doctor in case of any problem.